NVIDIA dropped GameStream. Why are so few people talking about it? Why does this matter so much? And will it impact you? I'm going to answer all of those questions in the video and dive deep into if this will later impact remote streaming for console to PC or on Game Pass or elsewhere. The first 1,000 people to like and throw in a comment, maybe I'm going to read one of them on the next video, so make them funny. And even if you aren't chosen, you're still one of the first 1,000. Let's do this. Let's talk about the three reasons in the video for why I think this is a big deal and has some huge ramifications in the future. Will it affect Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft and how they're going to handle all of this? First up, what is GameStream? Because some people may be asking, maybe you don't have an NVIDIA card. GameStream let users who have supported NVIDIA card stream games locally between their machine and any device available on the network. You could either use the GameStream service for this or various front ends. That's right. And it was awesome. Stream a dedicated, coded, almost to the GPU metal service kind of thing, go into your mobile device, meaning that it was very fast, its latency was excellent, and you were able to adjust a lot of different parameters, whether you were using a front end or game stream itself, even to another TV if you needed, to a fire stick, it didn't matter. And you could ignore a lot of the bitrate issues that plague online services. There are other solutions such as Parsec as well, which is its own software. And Steam Link, something I'm gonna talk about in a moment, Steam Link came originally as hardware and also has a software front end now. One of the nicest parts about GameStream is it became so popular that you didn't need to actually have any kind of software knowledge to use it. You could download a front end called Moonlight on any of your devices, Android and otherwise, and you guessed it, jump in there and adjust so much. It usually had better customization and options than Steam Link ever dreamed of. It's best to remember that for many years, Shield devices, those are the standalone computer kind of systems from NVIDIA that were streaming devices and known to use GeForce Now as well as game stream were sold with this as an actual feature addition and in many places a bullet point adding to the worth of the shield as a device something that as of yet i can see a lot of places online still having that bullet point being there game stream will shut down in a few months but still that's something that a lot of online companies are going to want to remove a user could basically go grab pretty much anything on their PC and stream it to a handheld device or to the Shield or to a TV. These are games and desktop, retail, pirated, and otherwise, and therein lies a little bit of the issue. Why would NVIDIA announce without warning to remove this from the industry? Well, the first is IP and digital rights. NVIDIA has run afoul of problems with GameStream and GeForce in the past, with games being on the device that the companies didn't want and had to remove them because they hadn't worked with the developers prior. They had to sit back and actually work with the devs and publishers after being told to remove them. That would seem like an amateurish issue, especially from a fairly large company, but it reflects more on NVIDIA's inept handling of a lot of what they do on the software side. There are countless issues with GeForce experience notwithstanding. The company hadn't even contacted many of the developers whose games they initially put onto the services, but their titles were there, and more importantly, GeForce wasn't paying them. This caused a debacle that finally got pretty much cleared up as of somewhere around last year. Now, GameStream is another step entirely, though. It doesn't require the same steps for account certification that GeForce does. It isn't streamed remotely from certified services that can be easily measured and resold as data packages to devs and publishers as a good reason to allow for those games to be on the service. NVIDIA themselves were in a bit of an issue here because it's very hard to sell this service as anything other than, well, we know people are playing games somewhere, but we don't even know how they're doing them. And that could also include piracy. GameStream did allow for pirated games to be streamed. Well, not directly or easily. It was something that you could do. And it was a leading cause initially of a problem with a lot of devs and publishers. And this easily shows how GeForce Now could become more popular to those people. Hey, at least we've got it on a streaming service that we know and we can count that as a title that's been purchased because those don't allow for hacked or pirated games being played. And I'm just bringing this up because companies do look at this as packages whenever they're asked to be on a streaming service of any kind. So it's important to know. And speaking of streaming services, let's get to number two, and that's GeForce Now. This allows for you to, of course, stream to your home device games certified on particular accounts from game publishers from PCs running in the stream on server blades. While it has a free version, GeForce Now currently has many different membership tiers, all of which cost monthly amounts. NVIDIA wants you there. GameStream really didn't offer them a lot other than a sale for the shield, something that may not be a part that they want to look to in the future, especially as game card sales are all over the place. 
GeForce Now is where the magic is. It's where the money is. It also helps NVIDIA sell the service to other clients, which, as I said, met with problems in the past. But why would NVIDIA do this? Why would they announce it without telling anybody? The first is their bottom line. They will still see a good amount of growth from people, even the smallest amount, who trade over from using game stream at home to GeForce Now streaming from a, some kind of remote position. While some will change to other software, even Moonlight hasn't been exactly successful with their new open source version of this that doesn't require game stream. Of course, you have Parsec and other software as well, but they have their own issues and availability. What makes the change here make so much sense is that if they get enough replacements to them, it just ends up paying off, even with the loss on the shield. And that's what brings me to the point that was so funny to me when they announced this. One of the recommendations they gave, other than their own GeForce, was the Steam Link. Now, Steam Link has had a weird life, people. It started as a hardware device until Valve's themselves basically realized, we don't need this, we can just make an app for it, which is what they did. It worked in some of the same ways as GameStream, however, it didn't have the reliability, and it certainly doesn't have the adjustability that GameStream had. It did let you adjust some settings and even comes on some devices. My Samsung TV, as I said before, does have the app. And of course, open TVs will be able to use it, but it never seems to be able to just get there. Offering Steam Link was a smart business tactic from NVIDIA. It makes them sound like the good guy when in real life, they're just hoping you have a bad experience. NVIDIA has no negative stakes in that situation. They want gamers to have a worse experience on Steam Link. That's something that businesses will do. You can also expect GeForce Now deals to continue to be seen, especially in these next couple months as this switchover happens. They're gonna want to make sure that you know GeForce Now is maybe 80% of what you got through GameStream because to them, that's still a huge amount of money that they had left sitting on the table. Once they sold a Shield device, that was pretty much done, even though GameStream was working. Here, it's not the same way. There is no device for them to sell. Well, they could sell their video cards, but they're still doing GeForce Now that allows for you to jump onto their subscription service and for them, win-win situation. But for everybody else, not so much of a win-win. And there's a reason. NVIDIA announcement topped off with their removal of the software from the driver set. They stated that not only will they be dropping GameStream, they've been very clear that they are purposely making it so that the other offerings like GeForce Now will require an update continually, effectively making it so that if you wanted to technically use these services, maybe use an old driver for GameStream, you would have to switch drivers back and forth to do so. We've seen this crap time and time again from companies where they want you to move to another product of theirs so they make the original one as hard as possible to work. As subscription companies continue to crack down on dual use of password sign-ins, all kinds of different ways in which they can get you into tiers, NVIDIA wanted people to be forced into this position quickly. They could have announced it and given a year, but they didn't. These are people who can buy the hardware device today. You can still go and buy a shield today, and this ability will still turn off in the exact same time frame. They haven't removed mentions of GameStream. Now, this wasn't always official in a lot of places, but you certainly do see it as a prime reason to go and purchase a shield. Now, where does this leave the shield? This is a system that was usually sold for that reason. It's in a vastly worse position, and there's a reason why. Some of the devices are fairly competent machines, or used to be. They couldn't really run much current stuff, and the idea that NVIDIA can possibly get you on board onto the PC market in a business move like this, that fits with their prior antics. It allows for them to get you to GeForce Now. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them do some kind of movie streaming service or match up with somebody else because the GeForce Now situation seems to be working very well for them. And the Shields have something that a lot of home clients don't have when it comes to drives like the Fire Stick. And that's very good upscaling. They have AI upscaling on the Shield devices. And I could see them just basically turning those into well, that and nothing else, a device that streams GeForce Now and movies with some kind of partnership that they do that allows for the AI upscaling and basically just get rid of game stream. This is sad. NVIDIA is canceling one of the few software solutions that I believe worked very well. I just do not have a lot of confidence in NVIDIA for taking this and moving it forward. Not only is NVIDIA looking at this, but you can bet all of the other companies are consistently looking at ways to get you into subscription services. And this is just one more way even if it means sort of shirking out and hurting those shield users, they can still move forward 
maybe offer huge deals that'll cause a lot of people to say, eh, you know what, maybe I'll just switch. Maybe I'll use something that is inferior if I have to, but maybe I'll just jump over and see how GeForce Now works. You can bet you're gonna see a lot of PR from them in the upcoming future on deals, improvements to the GeForce Now systems and servers and all other stuff, anything to get you to make that jump. And currently they've got a lot of users being left in the lurch that are gonna have to make that decision themselves. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you guys like it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the notification all bell. It really helps, especially now with YouTube just being completely destroyed. Also, if you don't get my videos and are already subscribed, you may want to go and hit that subscribe button, maybe hit it to just some and then back to all to get it to reset because YouTube has verified that they've had a lot of issues with that. Anyway, that's it for me. Peace out and enjoy the rest of your week.